Okay, so we're out here with the test units, Eco 3 and Eco 1. We're going to test the pellets. This is the new um, pine needle pellets. Oops, they're in a 10 mm thickness, uh, which we can see here. And um, we previously have tested 8 mm sawdust pellets in this unit. So this is a thicker pellet, but the pine needles have a higher calorific value. So I suspect it will work, but we'll find out in a minute. Let's have a look. Just giving our old uh, test unit a quick wipe up, make it look a little bit nicer. And we're about one minute into the burn. So I'll time it now uh, on my watch. It's 2.30 and we'll see how long it takes to burn through one kilo of pellets. All right. It's windy, so we just put the wind cap on. Uh, we're still in that first couple of minutes of lighting. And uh, yeah, we put the wind cap across the wind. So what we can see here is we've got a wood and cardboard fire just to get the pellets started. Because uh, we need some kind of uh, starting combustion for the pellets. It usually takes a few minutes for them to get going. And then, there we go. We're still only in the first five minutes. At the same time, we're also testing the temperature gauge. You can see here, uh, inside numbers are Celsius, and it's climbing, but the core temperature is starting to heat up. And in fact, it's just gone clear. Just now, gone clean. All right, so let's have a look in here. Which means our rocket has taken off. There it is. There's the rocket. So that's a really good a little puff as we let a bit of cold air in, but basically, we can see here, 200 plus. Oh, actually, no, that's 250. 250 plus, and she's starting to burn clean. So, we can just see the pellets are starting to ignite. The temperature of the system is getting up there. It's approaching 350 right now, which is really good. And the totally smokeless at the top here that's really good lever is still down so we'll adjust the lever let's see what temperature changes that makes to the front and we can see we've got a really nice combustion there great so now we're going to let the wooden paper burn out and just run it on the pellets now and we'll see how long that goes. We're at uh, less than 10 minutes since we started and she started running clean. A little puff of smoke here and there and that's probably normal because the whole system is still adjusting and stabilizing and it is windy outside. Okay, I've opened the door and we see the wood is basically finished and now we're running on pellets. That's the pine needle pellets right now, which is burning in the grate. And I'll just close that door. And we'll have a look here. All right, so there's our pellets that burnt down a little bit. And here, we've got a really, that's a good clean rocket there that's pretty much uh, almost 100% pellets now it's just a few little coals left from the starting fire and just dropped a little bit it's just under 350 now okay so now I'm going to close this front vent so that we're running on hot preheat only and let's see what happens vents closed temperature is stable and we'll just have a look in here that's what we want. That's a really good clean rocket, which is just running on pellets. It's clean, it's stable. We're sitting there just under 350 internal, and it's just starting to rain out here, but the rocket is rocketing. Let's see, we're 45 minutes in. Uh, we've still got just a few pellets left, um, and they're clearly burning, but when the flame is, well, you can see there's a little flame there, 
it's just not very strong. So what we're going to do now is move the the pellet feeder from here, from the Eco 1 across to the Eco 3, and just see if the extra suction on the Eco 3 is enough to get it to burn properly. Alright, so we've moved our pellet feeder across to the Eco 3. We have this lovely temperature gauge here, for checking. And it's just the last remnants of the original one kilo that we were testing over here in the Eco 1 where uh, it had a good 45 minutes burning over there and so we've still got a bit left so we've probably added less than a kilo maybe a bit more than half a kilo I would say that's what we want and I'll just give it a few minutes to settle in and we'll see how, how it's going and how the temperature changes so we are just up coming up to 150 and we are 340 on the watch. Uh, and these are just not wanting to burn at all at the moment. This is the second batch. The first batch did actually burn quite nicely. We know that the other pellets do burn with exactly the same configuration of the stove. So we know that it's definitely the pine needle pellets. They've just not got the volatility. And my guess is moisture content is too high. So that's why I've got some here. I'm just trying to dry them out on top, to try and reduce moisture content. So this is the pine needles, and we can see they're just smoldering here. Right, so this is uh, the 8mm sawdust, and these are the 10mm pine. We're finding that these burn much better. We can get a, quite a good uh, combustion with these, uh, but less so with these. So um, we're thinking it's probably moisture content could be a factor. Um, the size could be a factor, but I don't know if that's um, by itself enough to get the difference that we're seeing in terms of combustion. So at this stage, yeah, it's, we're not quite happy enough with the pine needle pellets to say that they're working properly. Uh, certainly not in the same way that these sawdust pellets are working.